Hi everybody, another great tool that I learned more about today is called an extension called Kami that I want to talk to you about. I've had Kami on my computer for a long time, had no idea all that it could do. So I wanna share that with you. If you do not have Kami on your desktop, the first thing you're gonna do is come to your Google Apps here, um, and then you're going to go to the web store. Okay, so I call it the waffle or the Google Apps box, whatever you'd like to say. Once you get into your Chrome Web Store, for some reason, if you don't have that Apps box, you can always type the words Chrome Web Store in your Google search bar and it will bring you here. You want to make sure that you're under extensions. It is the default, so most likely when you come in, you'll be under extensions and not themes or Waukegan Public School apps. But I am going to search Cami. And here it is, Kami Extensions PDF and Document Annotator. So it's awesome. I already have it downloaded, so it doesn't say add to Chrome like this one, but if you don't have it downloaded, it will. Okay, once you have it on your computer, you are gonna come to Kami. So I'm gonna come into Kami, which is right here. See the little C? I would click that, and it would take you there. I, um, once I'm in Kami, this is why I had it pulled up because my computer is being slow. Sorry about that. Once you're in here, you're going to come to, these are all the different things that you could use Kami for. I could pull something from Drive. I can open from the computer. I can create an assignment in Google Classroom right from this screen. But I'm going to show you how to do it from the screens that you normally do it from. So in this little corner, I have my DB, John Buckus, right? And I'm going to come here and I'm going to come under settings. Two things that I need you to do here. And then one thing I'm going to need you to do on Google Classroom for this to work work to the best ability. So you're going to come in, here's all your account information, you're just going to scroll down to settings. Most likely that box, automatically load files in Kami, is not check. I would check it. Now I've already done this to save time as well. It says install to Google Drive. I've already clicked that and I've installed it to my Google Drive. After those two things are done on your computer, you're going to come back to your drive. One more step you need to do is in my drive, I'm going to come to my settings here. So I'm going to click on the gear, my little gear here, and I'm going to click settings. I'm going to come to manage apps, and then I'm going to see annotate with Kami. I am going to make that my default just to make my life easier, and then I'm going to hit done. Now watch what happens. I am going to come into Google Classroom. And I am going to create an assignment. So I'm going to come in, but I'm going to create it with Kami. See this? Kami assignment. So I'm going to create that for my students. The first time I do this, I'm going to do, I'm going to attach their instructions so that they know how to do Kami. That's this little box down here. Send Kami instructions to students. After that, I'm going to uncheck it. I'm not going to send them the instructions each time. Hopefully, they'll be able to figure it out unless they need it. So for certain students, you may need to send it twice. So um, you're going to click that. And then we're going to come in and we're going to title it. And I'm just going to show you math boxes because I have it pulled up. Um, it's not going to be a point system, so I'm just going to put ungraded for now. I could have a due date. I could schedule a time. And, of course, I can always add it to a topic. So math boxes is math. So we're going to stick it in math. I can upload it from Google Drive or I can upload it from my computer. For today, I'm just going to upload it from my computer because that's where I placed it. And there they are, math boxes. There it is. Yes, it's what I want. I am going to click open. All the information is there. I'm going to just double check everything. I might give them instructions. Please read the instructions before doing the assignment or Kami instructions before doing the assignment. I'm going to check here. It's going to be a Kami PDF and I'm going to check this. Make sure that each there's a copy for each student. Everything looks great. So now I assign it. Here's what the students will get. Okay, so we're going to open this in Classroom so you can kind of see what they're going to see. They are going to see
two boxes. So the first box is the math box where they can edit it with Cami, and the second one is Cami and Google Classroom instruction. So that will walk them through if they don't have that extension on their Chromebook, how to get it. I know it's been opened by the district, so they definitely will be able to get that that um, extension. So just a helpful hint here, and that way you can also, as you create and make things in Google Docs, you, I mean in Google Drive, you will be able to edit them there for the students as well before you send them off. So if you are creating um, something different from a, like, to give you an example from a graphic organizer, and I want to label that graphic organizer, I would use Cami to do that before I send it off to the students. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, it is dbuckus at wps60.org. That is d-b-u-c-k-u-s at wp60.org. Talk to you soon. Thanks.